graphing the linear equation y equals 2x plus 3. So in order to make a graph, essentially you need a list of coordinates. And those coordinates should form a linear pattern. And we'll show that pattern by connecting the coordinates once we graph them. We're going to start off by making a table because the coordinates will consist of x and y values that are paired together. In our table, we have not been given any x values or y values. However, because the equation is in the form y equals 2x plus 3, it's easier for us to choose x values and then use those x values to find the y values that will be paired with it. So for my x values, I'm going to choose some easy numbers. So I'll choose 0 for x, 1, 2, and 3. Our equation says the y values are equivalent to 2 times your x value plus 3. In the first situation, we have x equals 0. To find out what y is, I'll do 2 times 0 plus 3. 2 times 0 is 0, and 0 plus 3 is 3. So the y coordinate that is paired with your x value of 0 will be 3. So the first coordinate I'm going to be asked to graph is 0, 3. My second x value that I chose was 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 3 is 5. So the y value that will be paired with the 1 will be 5. So 1, 5 will be my next coordinate. This third x value I chose was 2. So now 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 plus 3 is 7. So 2 comma 7 will be the coordinate that I will be graphing next. And final x value that I chose was 3 for x. So 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. So 3 comma 9 will be the fourth coordinate that I will graph. So in making my xy scale, I'm reminded that my horizontal axis is the x-axis and my vertical axis is the y-axis. I now have to decide on a scale for both the x-axis and the y-axis. The smallest number I have for my x values is 0 and the largest number I have is 3. So I'm going to go up by 1 because I have enough room to graph all the coordinates. On my y-axis, the smallest y value I have is 3, and the largest I have is 9. I'd like to go up by 1 if possible. Do I have enough room? Yes, so I'll also go up by 1. So the first coordinate I have is 0, 3, so I always start at the origin, which is at 0, 0, and I'm going to go over 0 and up 3 and put a dot at 0, 3. The next coordinate, I start the origin again. I go over 1 on the x-axis, and I go up to 5 on the y-axis, so 1, 5 is graphed. 2, 7, I always start at the origin. I go over 2 on the x-axis and up 7 on the y-axis. And 3, 9, I start at the origin. I go over 3 on the x-axis and up 9 on the y-axis. And I do notice a linear pattern. And to show that linear pattern, I'm going to take my ruler and connect those four dots, which represent four solutions to y equals 2x plus 3. But I also need to include an arrow at the end to show that these answers go on forever. But we all know that if I had chosen other x values, I would have other possible answers. So by connecting my dots, I'm showing all possible solutions. If I choose one of the easier coordinates to verify on my graph, uh, it looks like negative 1, 1 is a possible solution to y equals 2x plus 3. And I'll check that by plugging in negative 1 for my x value. So I'll do 2 times negative 1 plus 3. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. And that is correct. The negative 1 for x was paired with the 1 for y. So that has been verified that my graph was graphed accurately and it allowed me to find other solutions to the equation. So that is the graph of y equals 2x plus 3. If you have any more math questions, head over to frontporchmath.com. There you will find videos, written explanations, and worksheets.